You back live now to downtown Atlanta, bringing you a live picture here. We're going to get that up for you soon of the protest that is happening within the last five to seven minutes. We really saw they things wanted. start to boil over as those protests went from CNN Center to the state capitol back. Olympic Park right now we see this crowd here still pretty large and you can just tell the demeanor and the body language and the mood has definitely shifted as we've seen several standoff with police officers happening here. Not exactly sure how this thing took a turn, but when you meet raw emotion with daily events and headlines that are playing out in our society as we speak, look at that crowd. This looks like a standoff where you see the police officers facing the crowd there, the crowd looking back at them, holding those signs up, really, really coming to a fever pitch right now. We do want things to continue to stay peaceful, but it looks like that is not the case anymore with just the whole tone and the vibe changing. And that crowd has grown exponentially. They started to gather about three o'clock. They just put out this flyer yesterday. I received it at about 3.15. And in 24 hours, they drew a crowd this large, mimicking scenes in Minneapolis, Denver, and Phoenix, and Louisville. Emotions just very, very raw and high right now. And it looks like there is a heavy police presence, but it also looks like the crowd is so big and so intense. You see the police on the motorcycles, they're trying to get through the crowd right now as people are waving their signs. One thing that we can say here, right now as we look at this i have not been able to detect from this live video any sort of tear gas irritants or mace that have been dispersed in this crowd and i think that in itself takes it to another level so we do not look like we have reached that we see people waving their hands and no hands being exchanged. If you were with us in the last 10 minutes, you saw some blows that were going back and forth and even an arrest that happened on live TV. This officer face to face with that young lady right now to the right of your screen. We see her pushing back with this officer. The mask has come off some very intense words being exchanged and people of all races, all ages, all demographics representing Metro Atlanta are out there. As you see our police force standing on the front lines and the people are standing right back there facing them tonight. We do have crews on the ground, but we're taking this view because we have dedicated ourselves to keep our team safe above all, but also keeping you informed and letting you know what's going on in our community. The death of Ahmaud Albury really, really struck a chord in this community. We saw similar smaller protests happening in Brunswick. Another shoving match happening right now. It seems like it just keeps transitioning. So tensions get high in one area. They move, they disperse. A gang of police now swarming in on this very heated, heated crowd. And it just keeps boiling over. It will die down and then it boils back over. And I think that speaks to what our nation is feeling right now. You try to defuse a situation, but I think we're seeing the results here now of people who are just saying it can't be defused. They're demanding action. They're demanding the arrest of the additional three officers out of Minneapolis. The charges have come down against the one officer who had his knee on the neck of George Floyd. Our sister station out of Minneapolis reported that went down for eight minutes and 46 seconds. More than two minutes of that, George Floyd was unresponsive. Let that sink in. As we continue to hear mm -hmm. more information, Cheryl, it just breaks your heart to see what this has resulted in in our communities. And Cheryl, I know you said you used to talk to your mom about the trust and what happens when trust is broken. I think mm -hmm. we're seeing it. Yeah, over generations, uh, trust broken time and time again over generations. And I, as I've been watching this play out, I was thinking about our, our interview with Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields today, who talked to her officers and, and really was 
imploring them to have restraint and to allow the protesters to have space and have a voice. She has been using what has happened in Minneapolis as a what not to do with her officers. Um, and she's been looking at that in terms of the arrest of George Floyd, but also in the protests as well. As you said, there has been not been any evidence of tear gas that we've seen, very different situation in Minneapolis. And she had really talked to her officers today about this this time for the protesters and we've seen them you know uh, staying back until things come to to blows like you said till the pushing and shoving but it has been um, amazing to watch as it has ebbed and flowed as the officers are in there with all the people and their signs and the interactions there but it is palpable the the emotion from the crowd there is no question another shoving match going down. It looks like people have been taken to the ground. More arrests are happening right now. This scene right now is so intense. I think about my childhood and what I learned in history class about riots of the 60s. Never did I ever think that I would experience it myself and to be in a mm -hmm. news anchor seat ad-libbing over video that looks like it's something from the 60s. This is 2020 right now on a Friday night downtown Atlanta where people are protesting the death of a man at the hands of police mm. in Minneapolis. And you cannot forget the names of Ahmaud Albury that they are also protesting on behalf of and his family and also Breonna Taylor. And Cheryl, mm -hmm. I think what it really speaks to, the level of emotion, these cases happened and came to light so close within one another. So this is not just in the name of one person. Yes, and these, these cases, uh, at least two of them came to light because someone took video of what had happened. And it was really powerful when Will Smith just said that it's not that it hasn't happened, it's just now people are recording them. And I think even as people at home are watching what's happened here, this, this is history and the reason that they have come is because they're saying enough and there must be a change and that is why they are there on a Friday afternoon. And as you said, a group this big got together in a short matter of time and we're seeing this in Louisville and Denver and other cities across the country uh, saying that there has to be a point where it's not just a case happens and then you wait and see what happens next like there has to be a moment of change a defining moment of change and I know the protesters are hoping that 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 is the moment that that we're seeing now and and like you said it has been uh, interesting to see in these pockets that have happened, but so far the police have been able to to kind of diffuse one situation and, and allow them to stay. It looks like here we are seeing water bottles that were flying at police officers and a little bit yep. of that oh. was going back and forth and we see more water bottles or yep. something, you know, being chugged from the crowd of protesters to police. Right now, police are actually being surrounded on both sides. So it's not the protesters on one side of the street, they're on the other. These officers right now on their bikes, it looks like they're moving out of the way. That's what we saw in Minneapolis last night. The officers decided to stand back. They fell back in a major way. What mm -hmm. I can say is I am so thankful that we are not mm -hmm. seeing anything to that level of fire and things of that nature. I think the extent of what we've witnessed so far was just the water bottles being thrown. And so now the officers yeah. are moving away from the protesters as another shoving match and blows are being exchanged on the right side of the screen. Mm -hmm. This crowd is so thick right now and it seems like it's multiplying or they're getting closer together in smaller pockets. Yeah. And so at this time, yeah, we're that's gonna perspective, you to, can see it. Go ahead, Cheryl. No, go ahead, Aisha. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying that from the perspective of the of the chopper right now, this is this is a small section of what is a tremendously big crowd that spread out through Centennial Olympic Park. Yeah, and what I'm seeing on the left is they picked up the gates, the gates that were down. If you're going to a concert, yeah. you see the gates that, you know, sort of partition off the crowds. They pick those up at this time, and now they're making this big, giant group here 
right in the middle and I can see a, a couple of fluorescent shirts that remain of police officers, but most of them have moved out. Only seeing a couple of police officers being surrounded by these protesters. Many of the signs saying Black Lives Matter and more people looks like they're having their hands up and extending their hands. It looks like they may be trying to form some sort of a human chain right now, maybe trying to open up this circle here in the middle. We do still see uh, quite a few police now that we have this uh, view zoomed in a little bit more. More police officers are still out there, but the ones on the bikes looks like the crowd that moved out of the way. But officers on the ground now, the protesters pushing in on them. The officers are yeah. the ones backing up, looking yeah. like they're overtaken by this crowd. They're backing yeah, up. Yeah, interesting that there are some of the protesters that are, are trying to make space for the police officers as they're as they're trying to make their way out of that out of the center of that crowd and water bottles are still flying in the air. This is the result of the trust. We see the rest of uh, where those officers on their bikes ended up there. Looks like they're trying to move back and create some sort of amount of safe distance. We are seeing those yeah, officers now, trying now to protect Yeah, now they're going to have nowhere to go, too. those officers that are backing up. Mm -hmm, backing yes. up into the into the bicycles and, and form a line there. At the same time, they have to protect one another. And a part of the badge is still to protect that crowd out there. That is still the community that you serve. You want to protect those people, too. We see the second group over here. I'm not sure what they're doing. Looks like they're uh, they may be sitting down and surrounding a couple of these police cars right here and they formed a, a circle where they have uh, decided to set up shop. So the protest has now broken up into several groups. This huge crowd over here to the left of the CNN sign, the huge crowd to the right of the CNN sign is doing something totally different. Mm -hmm. Look at the magnitude of this. We also see that we have some uh, police crews monitoring this from above too at the building across from the CNN center. Maybe that's one of the parking structures there downtown. I'm not familiar with exactly what that area is. But it's being closely monitored. Heavy police presence, but the crowd is bigger. We can see that from above. The crowd is indeed bigger. This is more of a view from the ground. Yeah, there no from question our about it. As the as. Yeah, it's interesting. You had mentioned that uh, Hope Ford is there in the crowd and or uh, is at a safe distance away, which is why we're relying on the on the helicopter right now. Here's the perspective uh, from the ground there, uh, as you've got some people that are just are just watching, holding signs. Uh, traffic has stopped there at the intersection. Uh, as you said, this is this is really in a lot of different places around the arena, uh, Centennial Olympic Park, uh, uh, the CNN Center. Uh, it's it's that whole area area of Midtown, but but right in front of the CNN sign is is where really the the, the pushing and shoving ha has been happening and where the police have now formed a line and and stopped the movement of that the largest section of a crowd that is in a couple of different areas, Aisha.